what is up dudes and dudettes welcome back to all the mods nine guys we've got some fun stuff planned today we're making the wither the farm part two yes that's right we're going to be doing some stuff over here last episode uh we set up the plastic production uh and now we're going to move the mob farms that's our goal for today um I would like to get a more permanent spot for the mob slaughter factory. We're going to be generating pink slime the whole time, uh, which is really good. We need this stuff. Um, and then, yeah, it goes into the dissolution chamber. We can do that. And then do you make it into slime balls? Yes, pink slime. Okay, so it also goes into the dissolution chamber. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to need to make a couple of these dissolution chambers after we get more of these guys rocking and rolling. Um, we're out of gold. I don't think we are. Hey guys, I'm excited to give a super special shout out to TZ Audio who sent me this microphone. This is the TZ Stellar X2. If you like my audio in this video, please check out the link in the description to get your own. Let us check the mob farm here and you guys will see that we have so many diamonds. Oh man, those cave creepers guys, I'm telling you, you gotta get them. You gotta get them. They're so overpowered. It's crazy. All right. So we have sufficient gold now in order to create the mob slaughter factory. So there we go. And we're missing a sword and two axes. Boom, boom. All right. And the mob slaughter factory. All right. And so this front one here is actually going to be where the mob slaughter factory is rocking and rolling. Uh, we'll have like just zombies it dropping in here. Uh, and then this one in the back is where our main mob farm is going to be. Um, so I do want to go ahead and kind of outline these like I have. Because I want to be able to create like kind of like a tunnel system between them. Not really like a tunnel, but just like a walkway. So like here, maybe, maybe like right here where it's not centered on each of them. Um, we create like a, a three by three tunnel or something like that. And it kind of connects these two together like so and then you're able to kind of walk through them and then same with this one like we'll have it here um i know we we're gonna put the wither here we're gonna expand this out make another mob farm probably the same height uh but just like for the slimes we'll go here so we'll bring it out a little bit that way a little bit this way and we'll need to terraform the mountain here like over there because that's looks sucky but yeah so here is the mob slaughter factory um we're going to be producing pink slime which is going to be great so that does mean we're going to need to get into the ender tanks because that's what we're going to be transmitting the pink slime to and i'm just wondering is there a use for the liquid meat that we can use mechanical dirt okay i think that's pretty good washing factory liquid meat turns into air and dice so i think this is the best use for it mechanical dirt um i don't think we need a whole lot of that but we do need a lot of the pink slime okay so let's go ahead and make ourselves two ender tanks very good we're gonna grab two diamonds to make them private and i would like to make pink dye good okay so here we go, boom and boom. Shift on them to make them private to us. And because it's pink slime, we can do this. So now these two are linked together, which is good. Okay, so underneath this guy, we're gonna need to create a little room. So we'll do the three by three, like so. Good, okay. So I would like to have it so we're going to take a pipe out like so. And this one will go here and we'll put, um, yeah, we're, we're going to avoid the, the liquid meat. We make a fluid trash can. So you just need a bucket instead of a chest. Booyah. So we're going to do that. And I believe you can filter what goes in here. Yeah. So let's grab another bucket. Let's get some uh, liquid meat. All right, we have some liquid meat over here from our other mob slaughter factory working on the slimes. So we can take our fluid trash can. And because this will be 
um, before the pink slime. If we filter... Oh, shoot. So if we filter this... Yeah, liquid brown meat, whitelist, so that only it can go through. Then it means anytime any fluid is going to be taken out of here, it will first try to put it in this, and if it's the, the, the liquid meat, it'll throw it into the trash can, and if it's not, it's going to throw it into that, which is the goal. Okay, so now we're going to do a wireless block charger again. Seriously, these are some of the best things I've discovered in modded Minecraft in a while. I absolutely love it. Are we at a glowstone? Oh, we are. Oops, three by three. Okay, we got ourselves some glowstone here so we can make this guy. And then the seven by seven. And then we're going to make the flux point. Booyah. Okay, so then the wireless block charger will be here. And the flux point will be here. And then we'll go like this for turtle power. Good. So this guy should be getting power. It is amazing. So then we're only... That's all, all we're going to see is just this guy. We can access it from here. Ah, that's great. So again, pretty bad range. Um, one, two, three, four. I wonder if a plus four is the right range for that one. We'll try it. Okay, so here's the default range. We're going to throw in the range add-on. Yeah, and that was perfect. Good. So now it's going to just worry about this area, nothing outside of it. So we're rocking and we're rolling. Cool. So I guess let's see about making some kind of glass. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, we do have a, quite a bit of pink slime. I think we should go ahead and make some material stoneworking factories to start producing some sand um yeah we got three buckets of pink slime okay so we've got um some pink slime that we've created you just use a glass pane with some pink slime in there and we made an advanced machine frame so we can go ahead and get our first material stone working factory up and running which is awesome um so yeah these things if you guys have never used them are pretty overpowered honestly so i think we can put it right here is that gonna get power it's not give it back give it back um i think i'm gonna knock out this light here and we can put this guy here now that should get power yes there it goes okay so we need to get some buckets water good so you need to fill it with uh water and with lava you just need one bucket of each I found it, a single lava source. Boom. Oh, two. I'll take it. I think that might be it over here. There's a couple of lava pools, like there's one here. Ah, yes, we got quite a few. Cool. Okay, so then you put this with lava. Yep, it's got a lava. Okay, so as you can see, it's creating... Um, cobblestone and then it turns it into stone it's going to turn into smooth stone can you smell some smooth stone no so what we want to do is crush it so it goes into gravel and then this goes into sand and then this cooks it and we get ourselves some glass nothing good so we'll be auto auto magically producing sand from now on and we definitely want to upgrade that so what i'm gonna do is put this here Yep, and then we're going to get an item pipe. And we are going to need a filter, so we got this. Good. And we're just going to run this cable like so. And we are going to put... Well, let's grab some of the glass. Put this here. Oop, no, don't need two of them. Glass filter. I think this took the cobblestone out. But it is a basically a cobblestone generator if you want it to be. And push. And then we're going to disable, disable. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> it's not utilizing any of those. And then here, disabled. No, we want this one to push. Good. Very good. Okay. Let's get some speed upgrades in there. All right, so we've got... The efficiency tier two, speed tier two, and then the processing tier two. I want to see if that works on a um, stonework factory. 
So uh, we'll be here and so we'll do the processing. So maybe that's better. What about speed? That's really interesting. What about this guy? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, maybe it works. Uh, I don't know if that works alone. Hmm, it might not. The speed is definitely working. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, that's going to be nice and quick. But that's going to give us a bunch of glass. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's give us a bunch of glass so we're going to be able to have some fun with it. But this will always be at our disposal from now on. Um, now we're going to we're going to make all the spawners not uh, affected by light level. So that's going to be amazing. And we also need to, I need to remember to mine them with silk touch. But I'm trying to see, is there like a cool glass that we can make? I think connecting glass. I don't want to do. Let me see. Okay, so this is clear glass. Um, this is normal glass. I do like the connecting glass. I think there's one beyond. Yeah, this is clear. So we have clear, we have connecting, we have normal. I really like the connecting glass, honestly, because you're still going to be able to tell that it's glass. It's not just going to be this giant panel that you think you can fly through. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. And we do have the pickaxe of truth. Uh, I don't know why I call it that, but that is what we will name it. Pickaxe of truth. There we go. Now everyone will know that it's the pickaxe of truth. Back and look at that 214 glass already. We're rocking and rolling. Stuff's amazing. I think we're gonna do the connecting glass in the end anyway. <clears throat> cool, but yeah, we can also use the material stonework factory to produce gravel, sand. Um, let's see. I believe you can look at what it'll produce. Oh, you can produce obsidian with it. I didn't know that. Okay, gravel. Yep, glass. We can even make connecting glass right out of it. Um, so yeah, silicone for applied energistics. You can make sandstone out of it. Dang, that's cool. Gravel bricks. Oh, I see. Okay, so to produce different materials, see, look, like to make cobblestone, it does not consume any, but if we wanted to make, say, a nether rack, it requires 250 millibuckets of water and 200 millibuckets of lava. Is there a way to automate lava at this point? All right, so I think at some point in our create factory, we will go ahead and automate lava production. And then we can really yeah, move forward with that. that that's what we'll do. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Not yet. We won't worry about that too much because we have a cobblestone generator with the material stonework factory. And then boom. Ka kaboom foam tastic. It'll be great. Cool. So we're producing lots and lots of glass here. Um, let's turn it into connecting glass. I actually, let's, um, we need to find out what block we're going to build this out of. I'm pretty sure we're going to build it out of deep slate, um, tiles, but we're about to find out because I guess I have, don't really know. Where's my exchanger? There it is. Okay. So let's put this guy down. We're going to shift click, mine this up. Okay. And we're going to work on this guy because that's what we've been working on the whole time. So boom, boom, boom. All right, and then we're going to put a roof on this guy with the building gadget. Nothing too crazy. All right, and then we're also going to swap out the floor. And the cool thing is because we have the big area um, on this guy, we don't have to worry about like pushing the mobs anywhere. So all we gotta do is just fill this up with glass now and we're rocking and rolling. Okay, so it is gonna work. The animations for the building gadget are amazing. Oh, do we? Okay. So they used up quite a bit. I think we used up about half of our glass supply. Nice. Wow, that's like the perfect amount. Okay, so yeah, we used up about half. Ooh, this looks good. Looks really good. And then the outside here, we are going to decorate, just not quite yet. Um, we're just trying to get the, the simple farms set up. Okay, so while we wait for the glass to process up, what we can go ahead and do is make a bunch of the mob mashers. So I would like to line up a, like one of the sides of this and just have all the, the vector plates pushing one direction. Um, like all the same direction into just a row of 
maxed out mob mashers. So that's the, the idea. All right. Oh, redstone. Made four. Okay. Good. I believe that's all that we need. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Okay, so we need two more. We're going to grab some iron on the way. Whoops, missed it. All right, we got our extra two mob mashers here. So we can put them here. All right, and all these guys are going to have, um, you know, redstone power going to them. Uh, they're all going to have looting, and smite, and beheading. I think is all we really need. We don't want to do flame or anything like that. Yeah, cool. All right, so we got the, the soul fire lanterns. We're going to get a chorus fruit so they don't have any AI. And we're going to grab a comparator so that it's redstone controlled. So what we'll do is we'll put the zombie spawner here. We'll put the redstone control on chorus fruit. Isn't that what it is for the spawner? For no AI? Nor is players a conduit. Oh, that's new. Spawn count. Piglitch heart? Are you kidding me? Okay, so I think no AI is a go. They've changed this. Whoa, okay. Unobtained. Okay, they've, they've changed it in the latest update. All right, so we need a golden apple. I mean, I could have just taken one from there, but... Okay, so no AI. Good. Wow, unobtainium. That's that's pretty crazy. This has become very expensive. And you can no longer get it down to the 20s. Oh, wow, they've updated the spawners. Dang, you gotta use a piglet heart. <laughs> Those are so crazy. Wow! Okay, they've really balanced... Um, the spawners jeez okay do i have another nether star i do oh my they've even changed that so now the conduit is more valuable than another star when it comes to apotheosis wow okay how does one get not oh we just gotta get fish essence huh fish seeds fish in a jar soul extraction Solium. Solium dust. Oh. Okay, so that's going to be a whole thing. Um, yeah, but we need that. Okay, so the zombie spawner is in there. I do have the redstone configured on. Um, and then this guy is also on. We can put some speed upgrades in here, but check this out. Booyah. So I did go ahead and do the mob farm one, and this is what we got here. We've got three of the absorption hoppers. And the reason why we're using the absorption hoppers is because of the XP. Uh, I want to just be able to pump this right into an ender tank, and then the other ender tank go into our experience thingamabobber over at our house so that we're getting the XP to our base. But yeah, check it out. So there it is. And then this is also linked up to all of these guys. Uh, we are going to add the Drowned and Witch to this. So we'll have Redstone and Copper also being automated. Uh, but yeah, now I got to kind of get in there and we're going to put the Vector Plates in. Um, just for now, we only have this, uh, the Sharpness upgrade because the Looting upgrade has changed. Uh, it requires a a looting book um to to craft um we want to look at the looting one you could we're just going to be using looting one there's no reason to use all of the cool looting gosh dang it okay looting one it's just a skeleton skull and then three lapis and 13 levels so we'll be able to to make that up as you can see we've got a few levels to spare so yeah uh, actually we're going to put the the beam in which is going to go right here. We're just going to leave this in at all times. All right. And this is where the spawners are going to go. Uh, I do think we will eventually have all of these be redstone controlled. Um, and then all we're going to simply do is just put a vector plate going that way. So I'm going to put all these guys in. All right. So they're all in. We, um, you know, might just be best to just maybe have these pointing all the same direction so if a mob falls here it just instantly gets pushed over and then into these but yeah we are rocking and rolling now um so we're gonna put our first spawners there and i think it would be smart for us to do that 
Well, we also need to get these guys, the mob th uh, guys turned on. All right, so another thing that the spawners have changed, I don't know if I talked to you guys about this in the last clip, but we do need the conduit in order to, like this replace the nether star. Um, also, spawn count, instead of it being um, spider eyes, it's now piglet hearts, which are a lot harder to farm. Uh, no AI instead of chorus fruit, it's now golden apples. Uh, minimum spawn delay is now all the modium. Uh, and um, maximum spawn delay is now unobtainium. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. I think I did go over that with you guys, but now you get to do it again. So we're definitely going to use all of our wither skeleton ones. We'll leave the skeleton one. We'll probably change that and the drowned. Um, yeah. So let's get these bad boys put in. Almost forgot a very important part, and that was the redstone underneath these guys, the mob mashers. So all we got to do place these in here like so and the mob mashers are on it was a monster mash yep so now those guys are all working and i'm gonna put this here oh i didn't do that properly okay so drowned put that guy here hmm okay i did bring the soul lantern oh, do i have my magnet on yes okay Yep, that was the problem. Soul lanterns don't ignore the light. Good. So these guys should start spawning in. Um, the only thing we actually need to create for, like, automating the conduit or crafting it, I believe, is simply automating, like, fish things. So we're going to put rotten flesh over there. Inferium essence we'll put over here. The miniature hearts we can put over here. So lantern, keep that. Cobble, deep slate, keep that. Art, cobble, okay. So I do believe we need some all the modium up here. And yeah, you can only go down to a hundred. Thing, I, yeah, I do believe I talked to you guys about this. Okay, so let's look at the conduit here. What do we need? We need a lot of the nautilus shells. This means we need fish essence. In order to make fish seeds, we need a soul jar, which is a soul extractor. Which is this guy, which means we need a soul dagger and solium, which means we need to get solium ore, which you get from the nether. So we've got fortune five on this guy. So what I'm going to do is run to the nether real quick and we're going to grab some and then we'll be back. Okay, so we got some soul stone here. Turn off our hover. We're going to mine. Oh, we're still not in shapeless. We're going to mine all this. As you can see, the solium ore pops up after that. We'll turn on the magnet. Uh, that's not it. Here we go. Solium. Solium. Yeah, so we got over a stack of solium dust. Now, oh, I didn't even see this before. Yeah, so that should be good. All right, so we got some cobbled stuff. Solium uses... Oh, wait. To get this stuff. Oh, you don't need to smelt it anymore. Very cool. Okay, that makes it easier. Or I believe it's all... Nope. We need two of these. Right. Yep, and now all we need is some more of these prosperity. Good. Ten. Machine frame. Got it. All right, and a soul extractor. There we are. Um, Put this guy here. All right, so it does, in fact, need power. So we're going to grab... Nope, sorry, flux. Flux point. Boom. Flux point. We'll put it on top of this guy. Set it to our power. Good. Okay. So now we just need to make some of those soul vials. So fish. Soul jar, sorry. Okay. So with soul stone, this is what we need to smelt up several times. And I think it's time that we upgrade our furnaces. Yeah, um, we're going to make another iron furnace to replace the inferior one. Okay. Okay, these will no longer require power because we have the wireless heat receiver. Or they'll no longer require fuel, which is good. It goes into our charcoal supply. And then 
Gonna need some of these. All right, so now got ourselves some gold for now. We're gonna go from gold to diamond. How you doing? Smelting fast. Then we're gonna do some emerald. And then we're gonna do some obsidian. Smelt real quick now. And then from obsidian, we're gonna go to netherite. I think this might be the limit. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Four. Hmm. I can only make one. Should we make one? We should make one. All right. So now we have an all the modium furnace. As you can see, it is gnarly fast. Now we got ourselves some salt dust. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's what we love to see. All right. So we need some soul jars. That must, that used an incredible amount of power, by the way. All right. Then there. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so here you go. Put that in here. And do I even have any fish? There we go, I guess. Hmm. What is the best way to get fish? All right, dudes and dudettes. So it has been a little bit of time. Um, two days ago. I started recording this video, and today we are here. Uh, we went ahead and made some fish seeds. Really super simple to make here. Uh, all you need is some fish uh, essence here, and all you have to do is make a soul extractor, which is pretty simple, and then just put a bunch of fish in here. Uh, I also made some ink ones, because that's what we need. Uh, ink, you just get uh, squid essence. Uh, which is just ink sacks, and uh, to to get more fish, I made this little hut, which is an AFK fish farm. Uh, it's very basic. Um, AFK, AFK fish farms don't give you very good loot anymore. However, they do give you food, like fish, so that's why we set that up. Uh, but now we no longer ever need to make that because now we have these seeds. So, yeah, and if you're wondering why we needed that, well, in order to make nautilus shells, you need prismarine essence, which we made a long time ago, and you need fish essence. So now we can make nautilus shells, and we can even make heart of the sea with a nautilus shell, diamond essence, squid essence, and prismarine essence. So we now have the ability to make the conduit, which is what we... I, why did my tools get like this? The conduit is what we needed in order... Oh, that's that's food in order to make the spawners better. So ignores players. This this now acts like another star how it used to. Um, yeah, things have very much changed here. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going. Uh, we're going to start setting up some of the farms now. Um, I need to do I need to make actually a few of these guys, but I don't have the time. So we will. We will make these. Um, what should we make first? Well, we have some drowned here. I'd love to add the witches. Like here. I need reach. Hmm. What if? Oh, we had some drowned spawn. Oh, the magnet picked those up. Or the hopper. Okay, so now we should be able to place these. Good. We can put the conduit on them. Good, so now we should have redstone coming in here. Yes, we do. And we do have a chunk loaded, so those should be rock and roll on. Let's grab some all the modium. Ooh, we're running low. I would like to make some all the modium seeds, but we need blocks for that. And then we need magical soil, which you get from Insanium, Dragon Scale, and Insanium Farmland. We're very close to actually being able to do this. Um, we'll be doing that in the next couple of episodes. We'll be knocking that out. Hmm. Well, we don't have enough anyway. I do have my all the modium site, so we can speed this up just a wee bit. Very good. Okay. So we've got witches. Let's go down here. And those will keep spawning forever. And let's grab some materials. Ooh, copper ingots. This is what we wanted. Okay, so we don't need to actually put it in a compacting drawer. Very good. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. Um... So we need the soul fire, soul lanterns for the witches because I wanted to use a glass for this so we could see them a lot easier on the sides. We need, oh, come on, get in there. We need to do this. There we go. Now the witches will spawn. Die. <laughs> Die. We don't have looting yet, but we will. We will soon. So there we go. We got some glass bottles, some witch hats. So we're gonna we're gonna start them over here. 
Mm, there we go. Okay. We got some spider eyes. We'll do this. We get some sticks. We'll do this. All these will have void upgrades, so they won't be crazy. And then sugar. And the big one we're waiting for is redstone. Looking, looking good. There it is. Good. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if we should start compacting it. Nah, we should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy here. Then all the redstone. Ooh, and we also get glowstone. I totally forgot about that. That's a really good added plus. And a potion of healing. I think we should add those. Again, they'll all have void, so we'll have potions at our disposal, which will be good. But yeah, there's all the witch stuff. Oh yeah, and gunpowder. Gunpowder's kind of uh, not as important to us anymore. So we can put it there. But I do have all the experience being pumped into this, which is now at our base. And as you can see, 67 levels. We'll just add up to 1839. It's a good year. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's get some drowned. We don't need a skeleton. We are going to grab these wither skeleton spawners. We'll probably change that skeleton one into something else because we have the, the wither skeleton spawners. So no need to worry there. And we can add these guys in. Now they're not going to be our prime time guys. Oh, the connecting glass texture looks really cool. Okay, so here we go. And put that in drowned again it'll need soul fire okay and then we'll add in the two wither skellies very good nice so now we can start sorting those so i'm gonna start adding in all of our spawners over here and i'll start removing them from the other side but yes now we get coal i'll start off a new branch up here wither skeleton skull fragment uh yeah we'll do that Bones, we'll put those here. Shovels, well, those will end up being thrown away. All right, it's time to rain on their parade. Let's go ahead and get some light in here. Okay, so I'm going to want to go down here and actually disconnect the trash can so we don't lose any spawners on accident. That was a good call by me, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm going to throw all of these in here. So we can just focus on grabbing the spawners. Okay. Oh my. Huh. Um, I need a repair tool. There we go. Ooh. Okay, we need to look out for the cave creeper spawner. Mm. There it is. Perfect. All right, we didn't lose it. Very good. That was uh, probably the most important one because that one gives us crazy amounts of... Uh, materials. Okay, now it's time to start adding these guys in. Alrighty, and here we go. So, we're gonna throw these guys in. These guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. And I put the Enderman up really high, so they might just teleport or die on the spot. Oh, I forgot to turn my magnet off. <laughs> Alright, this isn't hurting performance at all. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just going to get rid of all of it. Okay. Gotta give this stuff places to go. So, diamonds and emeralds. We will put over here. Okay. And then some raw ore. We will put right here. Stone. It's not really that important. We can put it down here. Gunpowder's got a place. Stone's got a place. Okay. How are we looking here? Nether scraps we will put here. Here, yes, there you go. All right, cinder essence we can put here. Nautilus shells, I didn't realize we were going to get these. I'm excited about that. And the pearls we can put here. These zombified or zombie hearts we can put there. Blaze powder, gold nuggets are going to go here. Blaze here. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, so something pretty cool um, with the the farm over here. Um, we're getting Nautilus shells, which is something I didn't think we would get. Also, I think some spiders are falling outside, so we'll have to uh, evaluate. And then we also have a, a little drowned over here who's just vibing. 
but yeah so i've upgraded all of these uh this is way way overkill um a lot of these are hardly working at all but when we put more mobs in and upgrade them in the future these will be good to go uh, i did put uh, looting one and beheading one on each of them i don't know if beheading is a big one is this expensive now it's not okay this is the same price so we'll probably upgrade all of those here pretty soon but yeah so We've got most of these sorted. We've got quite a bit of stone. We've got a lot of the raw ores. We're getting lots of diamonds and emeralds and even netherite. Uh, yeah, we're even getting coal and redstone, glowstone, sugar, gunpowder. Like, like we're getting everything. Coal. Um, sorry, copper. Uh, we do need to put looting, more looting on each of those so we get more copper. But, um, yeah, we're going to start trying to get some looting books. We're going to use the ender... IO way of getting looting one. Um, yes, yeah, so under IO, he just needs skeleton and then lapis. Is there a mob that drops lapis that we could farm? Uh, villager trade, dungeon loot, world gen. No, there's not, unfortunately. That would be cool if they added one. But I think we'll. Wait, did we make lapis seeds? If not, I think we should make those real quick. We have not made lapis seeds. I'm just checking the, the quests here, and we have not completed it. So, uh, yeah, we should be able to make that really easy. So we'll grab, we'll make a couple. We'll say make four of them, and then we'll grab some essence. And we've got quite a bit of supremium. So we'll make a total of four seeds, which will be great. All right, and our final lapis seed is being crafted. Perfect for rocking and rolling. Let's go back here, make some botany pots. Oop, what are we out of? Oh, we're out of clay pots. And terracotta. Dang, if only we could smelt this up very quickly. Oh wait, we can. There we go. <laughs> cool beans, okay. So here we go. Made two of those. Let's get some farmland. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do some insanium farmland. All right, so this is the max tier farmland that we can have. And we got a quest for it. Didn't realize we would get that. And I think we're going to put this to the level up. Oh, can't go that way. To the level up above. I've been using this to kind of put some automation things here. Uh, oh, our diamonds. Totally forgot that we have these rolling. So we'll put them here. And then boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. So... Yeah, we're rocking and rolling right there. Let's go grab some Nautilus shells. I have been trying to figure out what the particle effect is for the um, the spawners because if we look here, we can actually turn off the the different particles, and I haven't figured out which which one it is yet. So if you guys know down in the comment section, please, please, please let me know. I would love to learn. Okay, so we came here for what? Not on the shelves, that's right. Okay. So we can make another another one of these. Oh, we got another squid seed. Good. Alright. So how many do we need for a heart of the sea? We don't. We can just make all these good. Okay, so let's see if we can make two of these. So I'm missing diamond essence. Well, we got it up there. Cool thing about having a trapdoor floor is that you can just go up it. Cool thing is these diamond seeds we don't really need anymore. All right, so we'll make, um, yes, perfect amount. Cool. So we got two conduit. Very good. So we're going to add these onto a spawner. And I would like to do one of the drowned spawners. Turn on hover. I believe this is this one. That's a witch. Oh, we already got that one. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, oh, but I can't touch. I can't touch the spikes, otherwise I will die. Getting pushed off by creepers. Get out of here. Okay, we got it. Good. So another drowned. Yeah, we'll put it on there so they keep going. <clears throat> cool. So we'll have a drowned going in. Copper is very valuable to us right now because the upgrades re uh, require copper. We could make copper seeds, but we don't want to. And we will eventually upgrade all of these to the max tier in the mob farm. And then we'll also add in, we will keep the void upgrade. So we'll have a couple billion items. Nothing good, thank you. Okay, so 
So what needs this? So you're currently rocking 32,000, 8.4. Okay, so yeah. Gunpowder's gonna need it of all the other ones here. So this is at four, two. We're definitely gonna need to upgrade these soon. So we need more copper roll. Cool. Well, all right. That's going to wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.